Yeah, Steve talked about uh, how he's been breaking down some of these Conference USA games uh, uh, on the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Now, if you caught either the Power Five or the Morning Wager last Wednesday, then you heard me give out Kennesaw State plus the points against Liberty. That turned out to be one of the biggest upsets of the entire college football season. Kennesaw State won outright. They closed plus 26 and a half. Just a reminder, earlier this season, I did have as a 3% client play Northern Illinois plus 28 over Notre Dame, which I believe is still uh, the biggest upset point spread wise. But you get back to Liberty, obviously now no chance of attaining their ultimate goal, guys. That was an undefeated season and being the G5 rep in the first ever college football playoff. I talked about last week on the morning wager on the power five, how no one wanted Liberty in that spot. They were embarrassed last year in the bowl game by Oregon. They really aren't that good. And I suppose you could argue that this is a letdown spot for the Flames because, you know, okay, their their hopes and dreams are dashed. But I look at things a bit differently, Prez and Steve. I, I see a buy low spot on a Liberty team that can still win Conference USA. Yes, they've been a massive disappointment at the betting window this season, going one and five against the number. And they've yet to win a game by more than 18 points. But all we need, guys, as you said, Prez, as you teed the game up, just a straight up win at home. They've won 12 straight at home, Liberty. And the only time previous to this that Liberty closed as a single digit favorite this season. They were minus seven and a half against ECU. Guess what happened? It was their lone ATS win today. Final score there was 35-24. One more thing to consider, and I brought this up when breaking uh, Liberty Kennesaw State matchup down last week. Uh, because of a scheduled game getting canceled against Appalachian State, Liberty went into last week having played just one game in a 30-day span. That's very rare in college football. So it was, you know, obviously we were all shocked that they lost the game outright, but I wasn't shocked that they played poorly. Jacksonville State might be the second best team in Conference USA, guys, but the gap is wider than what the odds makers are saying here. Let's not forget Rich Rod's Gamecocks. They got blown out by Coastal Carolina, blown out by Louisville, lost to Eastern Michigan, who's not very good. Their four-game win streaks all against bottom feeders. I like Liberty on the money line here. Yeah, Liberty's been one of the biggest money burners in college football this year. I talked a lot about that in those, you know, videos. They're five and one straight up, but one and five against the spread. And that's something, by the way, I forgot to mention what betters learned. There's only one NFL team this season that has a winning record and a losing point spread record or vice versa. And I was going to point out that basically, Norv, you just pick straight up winners, right, especially in the NFL. And that's the Houston Texans, who vastly overachieved last year. And you can make an argument that Liberty vastly overachieved last year as well. They've come back down to earth. And Brian, I love the point about the limited games, because I think that does help explain a little bit why they lost as such a big favorite. And that Appalachian State game not being made up, I believe. That maybe eliminated them from the national title contention to start with. So I think that was a huge yeah. letdown just not playing that game because it basically took away a chance to be in the final 12. So uh, interesting insight. This is a Wednesday night game. And once again, Brian Power, myself, Ross Benjamin, a lot of other guys, Jesse Shul, we do a ton of these weeknight games free for you here. So click subscribe, click the bell for an instant alert. Comment below if you're liking the videos. We'll keep them coming. And don't forget to hit the like button. Everybody do it right now. Boom. Took one second, Prez. I timed them. They all smashed it. Hit that like button here on Wager Talk TV.